Illinois' primary election is a week from tomorrow, and a push to get Chicago high school students to the polls is raising some eyebrows. New at 10, CBS 2's Jermont Terry is live to explain the controversy. Jermont. Erica, the Chicago Teachers Union is rallying voting age high school students to get out and vote this Friday. The event itself, not a problem, but one group the union is teaming up with has some question of CTU crossed the line. Voting is a right everyone should exercise. And this Friday, the Chicago Teachers Union is encouraging eligible CPS high school students to come to a student power forum. Well, the idea of uh, marching students to the polls and have a celebration of voting is a good, positive idea. Yet former UIC political science professor Dick Simpson says CTU is teetering on the line, too. In a letter, the union talks about how it's teaming up with Chicago Votes, La Casa Norte, and Bring Chicago Home. They should drop uh, the connection with bring Chicago home. The teachers union support the referendum, which would increase taxes for properties over $1 million. Those funds would go to help the homeless. CTU invested money into this referendum, and now the student rally is being called into question because bring Chicago home is a partner. Some consider it a conflict of interest. CTU in the response to critics insisting the student power forum is a nonpartisan voter education forum. We passed a state law saying now that you have to have civics classes for the first time as a state mandate. But Simpson says if Bring Chicago Home remains a partner, there's one thing that must be done. They should simply uh, not have any speakers or promotion of the referendum as part of uh, the program. Just over a year ago in the race for mayor, CTU criticized then-Mayor Lori Lightfoot's campaign when it asked teachers to get students to volunteer for Lightfoot for student credit. The union's headline read, Lightfoot shakes down CTU members for student campaign support an appalling failure of ethics again. Now the union is under fire for possible ethics violations. I think they may well get a statement from the inspector general that for future reference, this should not happen. Now, the Illinois Policy Institute is call, calling for the Inspector General to investigate and look into what CTU is doing. Yet tonight, CTU says Friday's rally is simply nonpartisan. Live in the West Loop tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Jermont, thanks.